What's going on, Montague Capital? It's Bro Officials here. I am back um, for a very long time. Don't discourage Sal Volcano here. Um, I'll be making another video, maybe before or after this one, explaining where I've been, what happened, and um, will I continue? Good night, my hair. Yeah. So I'll make a video on that one, but today we're doing, we're continuing this. We are continuing Doki Doki Literature Club. It's been a long time. How long has it been since my last? When was my last time that I played this? Hold on. All right, I double checked the live stream. I did play. I did play it. So we are basically starting new. We are starting new. So hopefully everything will do good. Um, yeah, as you can tell, if you haven't seen the live my two year anniversary live stream, which was the last time I ever did anything, and I was on like a huge hiatus. For those few months which I'll explain in the um, other video if I have or I may have or have not showed or posted so as and also as you can tell I also got a green screen I finally used my green screen finally still working out some of the bugs I'm guessing I'm not too sure lighting is just sucking okay let's continue It's an ordinary school day like any other. Mornings are usually the worst, being surrounded by couples and friends and groups walking to school together. Meanwhile, I've been walking to school alone. I always tell myself it's about time I meet some girls or something like that, but I have no motivation to join any clubs. I'm perfectly content just getting on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. There's always the anime club, but it's not like there would be any girls in it. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. There really aren't any that interesting. They interest me. Besides, most of them would probably be way too demanding for me to want to deal with. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Ah, oh, crud. It's been that long since I don't remember words, or not words, um, characters, voices. Meow meow. Monica. <laughs> oh my goodness! I totally didn't expect to see you here. It's been a while, right? Uh. Yes, it has. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic, crazy. I have no idea. Basically, completely out of my league. <laughs> so having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... Did I skip something? Did I skip something? Feel a little- yeah, okay, I didn't. What did you come in here for anyway? Oh, I've been looking for some supplies for my club. Do you know if there's any construction paper in here? Or markers? I guess you could check the closet. You're in the deb debate club, right? <laughs> About that, I actually quit the debate club. Really? You quit? Yeah. To be honest, I can't all... I can't stand the politics around the major clubs. Yeah, I can't understand. I can't stand the politics either. <laughs> it feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd rather take... I ra I'd much rather take something... I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. 
In, in that case, what club did, did you decide to join? Actually, I'm starting a new one. A literature club. Okay. L literature. Sounds like... It sounds kind of... Dull. How many members do you have so far? Um... <laughs> It's kind of embarrassing, but there are only three of us so far. It's real hard to find new members for something that sounds so boring. Well, I can see that. But, it re but it's really not boring at all, you know. Literature can be anything. Reading, writing, writing, poetry. I mean, what if my members even keep your manga collection in the classroom? Manga collection? Wait, really? Yeah, it's funny, right? She's always insists that manga is literature too. It is. It's it's literature. It's literature. Come on. What problem with that? I mean, she's not wrong, I guess. And besides, a member's a member, right? Did Monica say she? Did she say she? Not too sure. Can't tell. Hmm. Hey, Bromeo. By any chance, are you still looking for a club to join? Ha. <laughs> I mean, I guess so, but... In that case, is there any chance you could do me a big favor? I won't ask you... I won't ask you to join, but if you could at least... Could at very least visit my club. It would make me really happy. Please. Um. Well, I guess I have no reason to refuse. Besides, how could I refuse something someone like Monica? Come on. Sure, I can. I guess I could check it out. Haha, <laughs> awesome. You're really sweet, Bromeo. You know that. It's. It's nothing, really. Shall we go then? I'll look for the materials another time. You're more important. <sighs> and thus today marks the day I sold my soul to Monica and her irresistible smile. I timidly follow Monica across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Monica, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. I'm back, and I brought a guest with me. Don't do that. Why do you do the things you do? Huh? A, a guest? Seriously, you brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. <laughs> Don't be mean, Natsuki. But anyway, welcome to the club, Romeo. Hi. All words escape me in this situation. This club... ...is full of incredibly cute girls. So, let me guess. You're Monica's boyfriend, right? <laughs> what? <laughs> no, 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 no. no. Natsuki. The girl with the cider attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. First years are somehow the annoyingest people in high school. Anyway, this is Natsuki, energetic as always. And this is Yuri, the vice president. It's nice to meet you. Yuri, who appears comparatively more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with someone like Natsuki. Yeah, it's nice to meet both of you. So I ran into Bro- So, I ran into Bromeo in a classroom, and decided to come check out the club. Isn't this great? <laughs> hey, Monica. Didn't I tell you to let me know in advance before you brought anyone new? I was going to... 
Well, you know. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I didn't forget that, but I just happened to run into him. In that case, I should at least make some tea, right? Yeah, that would, that would be great. Why don't you come sit down, Bremio? Alright, the girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Yuri walks to the corner of the room and opens up the closet. Meanwhile, Monica and Natsuki sit across from each other. Still feeling awkward, I take the seat next to Monica. So I know you didn't really plan on coming here, but we'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Leisure Club, it is my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. <laughs> you could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in, in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. You know, my whole entire life of high school, I never start, I never went to any clubs. I basically just I, I focused more on educate my education, graduating. That was all I could think about. Nothing more, nothing less. Education to the point. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention. Like literature. And everyone hates reading. It's like, dude, I already have to read an English class. I have to read uh, books, for textbooks. I don't want any more reading. <laughs> Quit it. <laughs> you have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that's much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, Natsuki? Well, I guess. Natsuki regularly agrees. Such different girls all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these two. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before sitting down the teapot in the middle. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't, don't worry. The teacher gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I guess. Sure. <laughs> don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. <laughs> that that's not insulted Yuri looks away I mean that you know I I believe you I believe you well tea and reading might not be a pastime for me but at least I enjoy tea me I enjoy I enjoy my reading with a good old can of Dr. Pepper and not sponsored I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. So, Bromeo, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, <laughs> Manga, romance novels, sometimes, if I find a good one. I think the once, I think one romance manga novel I actually read that I actually enjoyed, R Romeo and Juliet, yeah, go figure. That is technically romance, comedy, uh, tragedy type, so, yeah. Um, I do read a few magazines. Anime USA. There's another one, and I forgot the anime type. Playboy, I read that too. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I don't read that. <laughs> Considering how well I've read these past few years, I really don't have a good way of answering that. Manga, yeah. Go figure. I might have it to myself half jokingly. Manga. <laughs> this guy has something perks up. It looks like she wanted to say something, but she kept quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. <laughs> what am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri tries to rim over deep cup with her finger. 
My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems too reserved and timid since the moment I walked in. But it's obvious, by the way, her eyes lit up and that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But, you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements using immerse me, usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you off of, throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, I read a, I read a horror book once. And never finished it. I, re I, I got the, uh, the, uh, the stupid book called uh, The Finance of Freddy's Silver Eye, the first book that he made, Scott Cawthon made. I got to about maybe 100 pages in, and I just went. I just went. <laughs> I'm mad. I read a horror book once. It's just really grass, something I can relate to at a minimal level. At this rate, you're, I might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Uh, I expect that from you, Yuri. It suits your personality. Oh, is that so? Really, if a story makes me think, or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh, why is that? Well, I just... Natsuka's eyes darted over to me for a split second. Never mind. Why are you looking at me, fool? Mm, that's right. That's right. Usually I like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of paper. You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called "Don't Say It Out Loud." I am giving her twenty million different voices. And get that back. Fine, fine. Natsuki, you write your own poems? <laughs> well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometimes? No. Natsuki avoided her eyes. You, you wouldn't like them. Uh, not, not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have any... Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. I guess it's the same for Yuri. We all sit in silence for a moment. <laughs> I just got- hey, I just got an idea! How about this? Natsuki and Yuri look quizzily at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then, next time we meet, We'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Um. Ah, uh, I mean, I thought it would be a good idea. Well, I think you're right, Monica. We should probably start finding activities for all of us to participate in together. I did decide to take on the responsibility of vice president after all. I need to do my best to nurture the club as well as its members. Besides, now that we have a new member, it seems like a good step for us to take. Do you agree as well, Bromeo? Hold on. There's still one problem. What's that? Now that we've reached the most important topic, I've been like, come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. 
Monica may have convinced me to stop by, but I've never made my decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and, um... I close my train of thoughts. All three girls stared back at me with dejected eyes. But... I'm sorry, I thought... <sighs> the girls exchanged glances before Monica turns back to me. I, I guess I need to tell you the truth, Romeo. The thing is... We don't have enough members yet to form an official club. We need four. And I've been trying to re I've been trying really, really hard to find new members. And if we don't find one more before the festival I defies leave against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear headed decision when it's like this? I would really f I f would feel terrible for letting everyone down in this situation. And besides, the club itself seems pretty relaxed. So if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls... Right. Okay, I decided then. I'll join the literature club and sell my soul to the devil. <laughs> one by one, the girl's eyes lit up. Oh my goodness, really? Do you really mean that, Romeo? Yeah. It could be fun, right? You really did scare me for a moment. I mean, if I really just laughed after all this, I would be super pissed. Romeo, I'm so happy. We've become an official club now. Thank you so much for this. You're really amazing. I'll do everything I can to give you a great time. Okay? Uh, thanks, I guess? Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Romeo, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah. Can I really impress a class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri cleans up the tea set. I guess I'll be on my way then. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow then. I can't wait! With that, I depart the class club room and make my way home. The whole way my mind wandered back and forth between the three girls. Natsuki, Yuri, and of course Monica. Will I really be happy spending day after day, every day after school in a literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Alright. I'll just need to make the most of my son circumstances and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Now. Would you like to... Um, you have unlocked a special poem. Would you like to read? Yeah. Stare at a dot to reveal the secret message. Okay. Okay, that didn't really mean anything. Okay, so we have the two girls here. I don't know. I tried. Yeah, that's it. This time, I think instead of going for one of the girls, I'm just going to do express me physically. So like what I'm feeling now, or like how I am. So I'm not going to go for any of the women. I'm just gonna go for like myself. Express my understandings and all that. Let's do oh depression romance art alone. Uh, let's do music. Let's do peaceful, maybe. Broken, I'll do that one. Love. Memories, that's good. Um, nibble, after my antagonizing. Pure childhood. Marriage, flower. I asked you flower. 
Jester. Uh, let's do. I don't know. I kind of do death, maybe. Haven't sent summer imagination party anger. Let's do fireworks. Crimson loud. Let's do. Let's do play. Sadness. Destiny. Family. Ooh. Let's do kiss. Two more. Um, let's do. Uh, let's do fear. Okay, last one. I'm gonna have to do one. F uh, do. Uh, let's do. Secretive cheer together cheeks pleasure. Um, the universe cute. Let's do. Let's do pleasure. Let's try that. See what that does. Hi again, Bromeo. Glad to see you didn't run away from us. <laughs> nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but I at least kept my word. While well, I'm back at the literature club, I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Okay. Thanks for keeping your promise, Bromeo. I hope this isn't too overwhelming for a commitment for you. Make, making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. The day gets weirder and weirder. Oh, come on. Like it deserves any slack. You already had to be dragged here by Monica. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Um, Monica... I'm away. I can't see. Natsuki. Certainly have a big mouth for some has you have certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the classroom. M M Monica Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Manga is literature. Swiftly defeating Natsuki pops back into her seat. I'm sorry, Romeo. We'll make sure to put your comfort first, okay? Yuri shoots Natsuki with a disappointing glance. Um, anyway, now that you're in the club at all, perhaps you might have interest in picking up a book to read. Well, I can't really say you no know, either way. Like you said, I'm in this club now. So it only feels right for me to do something like that if you ask. B wait I didn't mean it like that. You... If you don't really want to, then forget I said anything, I guess. Uh, no, no, it's not that, Yuri. I want to try to be a part of this club. So even if I don't read often, I'd be happy to pick up a book if you want me to. Are you sure? I just felt like, well, as vice president and all, that I should help you get started on something you might like. Yuri just drew a bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked up a so I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, in if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. This is... How... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? It's adorable! <laughs> she even picked out a book she thinks I like, despite me not reading much? Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. Enthusiastically, uh, I enthusiastically grab the book. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone settled in, I expect Monica to kick off some scheduled activity for the club, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Yours face is already buried in a beat book. I can't help but notice her intense impress expression, like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, that's who he's rummaging around in the closet. <laughs> I hear Natsuki on an exasperated sigh within the closet. She seems to be annoyed by something. I approach her in case she needed a hand. She needs a hand. You looking for something in there? Family friendly! Hmm. 
freaking Monica. Monica. Mm -hmm. Family friendly, guys. Come on. <laughs> she never puts my stuff back in the right spot. What's the point in keeping her collection organized if someone else is just gonna mess it up? And Atsuki slides a bunch of stacked books and watches across the shelf. Manga? You read manga, right? Ah, uh, sometimes. Monica is one of those things where you can't admit you're really into it until you figure out where the other person stands. How did you know, anyway? I hear you bring it up at some point. Besides, it's like a writ- it's kind of written on your face. What's that supposed to mean? I see. There's a lone volume of manga, miss a stack of various books on the side of one of the shelves. Curious, I pulled it out of the stack. Th there it is! And Suka snatches that out of my hand. She then turns to a box of manga and slips the volume right into the middle of the rest. Ah, uh, much better. Seeing a box set with one book missing is probably the most irritating sight in the world. I know that feel. I have all my books. One through all that. Then I have the new mangas. I am now reading. I just need the rest. I just don't got the money to buy the rest. <laughs> and they're hard to kind of come find, so. One of them. One of them, volume two and three are out for Vampire Night Memoirs. I still need to get. I have. High School DD. Two books I haven't read yet, I think. I think I've one I never finished. And I have four books of that. One I have not finished, the other one never read. Then I have Two Love Rue, I think one through three, I think. Volume one through three, and a big book. And then I have one book, another <laughs> giant book, never touched, never read. And that's it of my manga. I get a closer look at the box that she's admiring. Perfect Girls, it's a series I've never heard of in my life. That probably means it's either way out of my demographic or it's simply terrible. If you're gonna judge, you can you can go do it through the glass on that door. She pointed at the classroom door. <laughs> hey, I wasn't judging anything. I didn't even say anything. It was the tone of your voice. But I'll tell you if I'll tell you one thing, Bromeo. Consider this a lesson. Okay. Don't judge a book. I'm guessing don't judge a book by its cover. I'm guessing that's what she said before it freaked out. Can I see that type of history or? Yeah, concern a lesson straight from the literature club. Don't judge a book by its cover. Yeah. I knew that was going to be that anyway, so. In fact, Natsuki pulls out the first novel of Perfect Girls from the box. I'm going to show you exactly why. Just of the book right in my hand. Ah. I stare at the cover. It features four girls who go over a tire, striking anime in feminine poses. It's exceedingly moe. Don't just stand there. Whoa. Grabs my arms and pulls Natsuki grabs my arms and pulls me out of the closet. She then takes a seat against the wall beside the window seal. She pats on the ground next to me, sig signaling me to sit there. Wouldn't a chair be more comfortable? Take a, take, I take my seat. Chairs wouldn't work. I'm actually kind of curious. Is that is that a real book? I just want to double check. So it's not a real book. We can't read at the same time like that. Eh? Huh? Why is that? <sighs> I guess it's easier to be closer together like this. D don't just say that. You'll make me feel weird about it. Nasuki crosses her arms and scooches an inch away from me. Sorry. Didn't exactly expect to be sitting this close to her either. Not that I can say it's a particularly bad thing. I open the book. It's only a few seconds before Natsuki once again inches closer, reclaiming the additional space where she hopes I wouldn't notice. I can feel her peering over my shoulder, much more eager to begin reading than I am. Wow, how long has it been since I read this since I read the beginning? Hmm? 
you don't go back and flip through the old no volumes every now and then? Not really. <laughs> I don't either. Because <laughs> I have everything memorized. Everything's all up here. I remember is every single thing. Vampire Knight, I know every single... I hold on, I know the whole story. I've read the anime. I read the manga. I've seen the anime. I want the anime. I want a number three. I want a volume three of that anime. And then maybe number four could be memoirs. I'm not too sure. Maybe sometime after I've already finished the series. Hey, are you paying attention? Huh? I am, but nothing really happens yet, so I can talk at the same time. Looks like it's about a bunch of friends in high school. Typical slice of life attire. I affair. I like slice of life. It's more interesting. I like slice of life. I kind of grew out of these since it's rare for the writing to be entertaining enough to make up for the lack of plot. Ooh. Are you sure this isn't boring for you? It's not. Even though you're just watching me read. Well, I'm fine with that. I'm like switching between this and this. If you say so. I guess it's fun sharing something you like with someone else. I always get excited when I convince any of my friends to pick up a series I enjoyed. You know what I mean. Hm. You don't? Um, that's not... Well, I wouldn't really know. What do you mean? Don't you share your manga with your friends? Could you not wrap it in? Jeez. Uh, sorry. <laughs> like, I could never get my friends to read this. They just think manga is for kids. Boy, you have no idea. It's not for kids. Not for kids. I can't even bring it up without them being all... Like, eh? You still haven't grown out of that yet? Makes me want to punch him in the face. Ugh, I know those types of kinds of people. Honestly, it takes a lot of effort to find friends who don't judge, much less friends who are all so into it. I'm already kind of a loser, so I guess I gravitate towards the other losers over there, over time. But it's probably harder for someone like you. Hmm? Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Wait, which part? I mean, I feel like I can't even keep it in my own room. My dad would beat the shit out of me if he finds... Jeez! This is getting serious, and I'm not a big fan of this right now. I'm curious of what it actually says in the history. I don't even know what my dead would do if he finds out. Oh my goodness. Or at least it's safe here in the classroom. Kept Monica's kind of a jerk about it. Is that a typo? Ugh, I just can't win, can I? Well, it paid off in the end, didn't it? I mean, here I am, reading it. Well, it's not like that solves any of my problems. Maybe. But at least you're enjoying yourself, right? So... <laughs> Jeez, that's enough. Are you gonna keep reading or what? Yeah, yeah. I'll flip the page. Time passes. Azuki is strangely quiet now. I glance over at her. Looks like she started to fall asleep. Hey, Natsuki. Y yeah? So Natsuki collapses right after right into me. Oh, hey! What does it say in settings? Nothing yet. Um, what just happened? Um, let's continue. Okay, what is going on? What's this saying like in history and all that? What the? What just happened? What the? Oh, jeez. That's so... 
Ricky, are you okay? Here. Line creates her as it pulls out some kind of protein bar. She throws it on Suki's direction. And Suki's eye is starting to light up again. She snaps the bar from the floor and immediately tears off the wrapper. I told you not to give me. She doesn't even finish her sentence before stuffing it in her mouth. Don't worry, Bremio. She's fine. It just happens every now and then. That's why I always keep a snack in my bag for her. Anyway, why don't we all share poems now? What the hell? Okay, that's a little odd. Okay, now we're here. We all know the rule, we all know the little thing. I'm gonna grab the book. This one. Okay. Um, if you're st if you're new, subscriber, subscribe, like the video. Um, if you're new to the series, all that, or not new, or if you're new to the channel, I decided to see like my perspective of this game. Um, because this game's been out for so long, and I decided to play after since such a like what 2015, I think that's when this game came out or something, or 2017. So, if you don't know. Every time we do a book, every time we do the poem, we go through and we find something similar to what I've did or just completely random. So, let me find a wood. Quick. Rose. Let's do Love for Love. I don't think I've read this one. Okay. Let's turn off. Let's meet you real quick. And let's return. Okay. It's so naive and so not gonna be used to that. Alright. Yes, I'm gonna be reading a poem in front of Sal. Deal with it. Here we go. Love for Love by Richard Brinsley Sheridan. I ne'er could any lustre see in eyes that would not look on me. I ne'er saw nectar on a lip, but where mine own did not hope to sip. As the maid who seeks my heart, cheeks of rose, untouched by art, I will own the color true, when yielding blushes aid their hue. In her hand so soft and pure, I must press it to be sure, nor can I be certain then, till it, grateful, press again. Must I, with the attentive eye, watch your heavy bosom sigh? I will do so when I see that heaving bosom side of, side of me. That was Love for Love by Richard Brinsley Sheridan. Sheridan. Let's get back in the game. Um, let's do, let's just go down the list of just top to bottom maybe. So actually, I kind of want to do Natsuki last. So, or sometimes Monica tells us something. So let's do Yuri, Natsuki, and then Monica. Because I always do Monica last. I think that's what I did last time. Yuri seems the most experienced, so I just start with her. I can trust her opinion, to be fair. Hmm. Yuri stares at the poem. A minute passes more than enough time for her to finish reading. Is my hand writing that bad? Is my hand writing that bad? Um, um, oh, so sorry, I forgot to start speaking. Um, it's fine, don't force yourself. I'm not, I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay, this is your first time writing a poem, right? Yeah. Why do you ask? I'm just making sure, I guess that it might be after reading through it. Ah, so it's that bad. No, no. Did I just raise my voice? I I'm so sorry. Yuri buries her face in her hands. I couldn't help but notice that it's been several minutes and we really haven't gone anywhere. I took Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's fine, I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Right, um, it's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. 
I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in New Rider is that they try to make their style very deliberate. Which are that word sometimes. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter, and they form fit the two together. Yeah, that's why my sounds more sad and sad and loving. Well, no, I, the, the words I picked kind of fits me and my types of poetry and writing styles. My stories are kind of like that. That sad and then that kind of happiness towards the end. The end result is that these that both the styles and the expressions are weakened. Once Ray finds her train of thought, it it's as if her demeanor truly changes. Her stammering is completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. Of course, it's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing, even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you vulnerable feedback. Azuki could be a little bit biased, though. Biased? How? <laughs> well, never mind. I should be ta talking about people like that. Sorry, it's fine. I'm not sure if you're always apologizing to yourself, to me, or to Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thoughts process behind it. Yuri smiles extremely as if it's a rare opportunity for her. Which in itself, it's kind of funny. After all, isn't that supposed to be a literature club? Alright. Ghost Under the Light. I forgot I can't read this type of handwriting sometimes. And the turns of my hair, the tenders of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. Bathing. It must be this one. The last remaining streetlight to have withstood the last of time. Or the rest of time? The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the f future? F future? I bathe, calm, breathing air of the present, but living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. I'm sorry, I have such terrible handwriting. No, it's not terrible. It's good. I just can't read it. <laughs> I can't read handwriting. If it's that good, I cannot read it. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. I think it's because of my monitor I'm looking on at the screen to like super small. But it took you a long time to read. Uh, well, I just don't read script very often. <laughs> we had to break the fourth wall. I think your hand. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Eh? But that's that's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? <laughs> Actually, this story isn't about a ghost at all, Bramiel. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose it only glanced over after all. But remember that poem often expresses their own thoughts, feelings, and experience in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being simple as compared to a ghost. Yeah... I'm 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 thinking of like the poem again. There you go, yeah, something like that. Lingering your lingering your last remaining place of comfort and able to let go of the past as soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. It's nothing really. Well, it makes me happy that you think that. Just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on these things too. 
Yeah, probably you're right. I guess I'll have to keep trying. I'm counting on- I'm counting on you. Alright, now we're gonna do Natsuki now. Well, I'll- let's start with the thing I don't like. First of all, um... That's how you use my poem. Never- never mind. I don't feel like giving my opinion. And yeah, what's the point of sharing in the first place? I wrote this when I could have been doing other things. You know... In fact, remember how I said I wanted to read your poems? That's what I had in mind when writing this. I wanted to help you feel comfortable enough to share yours. Like Monica said, you know, well, I wouldn't be more comfortable sharing my poems if yours was really, if yours was really bad. Wow, I guess we're killing it. You were supposed to show me some dumb poem and make me good. <laughs> well, it's not that great because let me show you what real literature looks like. And you went and ruined it. I hope you're happy. So in other words, you're saying you liked it. <laughs> Natsuki's restored skin caught in her throat. You're so... You just... You don't... Understand, you don't... Do you? I already told you that you don't have to go announcing it to the world like you're all self-important. Pretty much, you're never actually... You're pretty sure you never actually said that. I say that mostly to myself. Natsuki must really hate me or something. I can't figure out if it's a win or a lose that she liked my poem. In that case, you still need to show me yours, right? You're fine, I guess. Only because Monica will make me do it if I don't. Eagles can fly. Monkeys can climb. Crickets can leap. Horses can race. Owls can see. Cheetahs can run. Eagles can fly. People can try. But that's about it. Yeah, that's about it of this poem. Yeah... I told you that you weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Sure. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because... Everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't... Would have wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem, seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. Heartening. So I decided to write my, write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the world on the wordplay. Like I said it for a rhyme at the end, but then made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did, I guess, more when I guess more went into that than I realized. That's what I mean to that's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, didn't ya? Yeah, I guess. Guess not. I decided to humor her with the last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. And last but not least, Monica. Hi, Bromeo. Having a good time so far? Yeah, I guess. Good. Glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything. If you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. Ha 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 ha. Don't worry, Bromeo. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know. But that's the sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Hmm. I like it, Bromeo. Really? It's a lot cuter than I expect. <laughs> oh, jeez. 
No, no. It's kind of... Whoops. It kind of makes me think of something that Soki would write. And she's a good writer, too. So take that as a compliment. <laughs> yeah, if you say so. Yep. If you're interested in Natsuki, then always keep a snack on you. She'll clean you. She'll clean to you like a puppy. <laughs> Natsuki's dad doesn't give her lunch money or leave her any food in the house, so she's in a fussy mood pretty often. We're getting serious with Natsuki, kinda. Yikes. But sometimes she just loses all of her strength and shuts down. Like earlier. This is just a guess, but I think she's so small because of her malnourish maltrition that is interfering with her adolescent growth. But hey, some guys are into petite girls too. <laughs> Yikes. Yikes. Wow. Sorry, just trying to look on the bright side. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> Yikes. Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel the way you know. I see. Well, let's read it then. Hole in the wall. But he wasn't looking at me. Confused, I frantically glanced at my surroundings, but my buried eyes can no longer see color. Are there others in the room? In this room? Are they talking? Or are they simply poems on flat sheets of paper? The sound of frantic, scrawling, playing tricks on my ears. The room began to crinkle, closing in on me. The air I breathe dissipates before it reaches my lungs. I panic. There must be a way out. It's right there. It's right there. Swallowing my fears, I brandish my pen. Hmm. So, what do you think? Hmm, it's very freedom, free form, if that's what you call it. I'm sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting a sus on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Uh, weird. Well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiph epiphany recently. It's been an influence. It's been influencing my poems a bit. Uh, epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming out strongly maybe after some maybe after everyone is better friends with each other anyway here's Monica writing tip of the day sometimes you're writing a poem or a story your brain gets too fixed at a specific point if you're trying too hard to make it perfect then you'll never make any progress true <laughs> just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy up later that is a little true. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a dark, big dark puddle of ink. If you're writing with an ink pen, or like a normal pen. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Phew. I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club after all. I sigh. I guess that's what I end up getting myself into. Across the room, Monica is writing something in her notebook. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. The thing gingerly exchange sheets of paper sharing their respective poems. As I read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration, meanwhile Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Huh? 
Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. That's a good display returns a poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Oh, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute. Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feelings of giving up. Okay, yeah, I could see it. Yeah, I can see that. How can that be cute? Uh, I know that. I just meant... The language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out as nice at all. Um, well, I do have a couple of suggestions. <laughs> if I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it, which person, which people did, by the way, Monica, Monica liked it, and Bromeo did too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me, I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time with staff leaving my rhymes. Let me go back for a second. I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. You're welcome. I didn't. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless, of course, I don't come across something particularly inspiring, which I haven't yet. And Bromiel liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. That's how he suddenly stands up. Oh. Uh -huh. I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Huh? That's not what I... You... You're... You're... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Bromeo appreciated my advice more than he appreciated yours. Huh? And how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you f that full of yourself? I... No. If I was full of myself... I wouldn't deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Yeah. Well, you know that. Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Bromeo started showing up. <laughs> oh, brother. That's yikes. <laughs> Natsuki! Um, that's okay. That's a little. This doesn't involve you. Okay. Check a trance that curious on others like that. You really act as young as you look, Natsuki. Me? Look who's talking. You want to be edgy, bitch? Edgy? Sorry, that's my lifestyle. is too much for someone of your mental issue to comprehend. See? See? Just saying that proves my point. Most people learn to get over themselves after they graduate middle school, you know. If you want to prove anything, then stop harassing others with your sickening attitude. You think you can counterbalance your toxicity personality just by dressing and acting cute. The only cute thing about you is how hard you try. Wow, be careful who you might cut yourself on that edge, Jerry. Oh, my bad, you already do. Don't, don't you? Did you just accuse me of cutting myself? What the fuck is wrong with your head? Yeah, go on. Let Bromeo hear everything you really think. I'm sure he'll be head over heels for you like this. Uh, Suddenly so returns towards me as if I, she'd noticed I was just standing here. Bromeo, she, she just tried to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. How did it? How did I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing, but whomever I agree with, they'll probably think of more. So of course, this is going to be, oh, jeez. I can't save. Shh. Huh. Yeah, there we go. Um... That's okay, just started it. What is going on?
What if I hit Yuri? Uh, hey, Bromio. Why don't we step out for a little bit? Okay. What the hell? Sorry about that. They really shouldn't have tried to get you involved. It's probably better for us to stay out of this. We'll get back inside once they're done yelling. <sighs> it's in prison and I am, right? I can't even confront my own club members properly. <laughs> I wish I was able to be a little bit more assertive sometimes. But I never have it in me to put my foot down against others. You understand, right? Anyway... If this makes you want to spend less time with others, then that's fine. I'd be happy to spend time with you instead. Natsuki suddenly Natsuki runs out of the classroom. She quickly runs away. Oh dear. Well, it looks like they're done. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Yuri's rocking back and forth in her desk with her palms on her forehead. Yuri? I didn't mean it. I, I I believe you. I have no idea what Yuri might have said to Nats I have no idea what Yuri might have said to Natsuki. Or did. Romeo, please don't hate me. Please. I'm not like this. There's something wrong with me today. It's fine, Yuri. We know you didn't mean it. Besides, I'm sure Natsuki will forget all about it tomorrow. Completely. Anyway, the meeting is over, so you can go home now if you want. It looks at me like she wanted to say something, but she keeps glancing at Monica. You can go first, Monica. I'd like to stay a little bit longer. I'm the president, so I should be the last one out. I'll wait, f I'll wait for you to be done. Well, I'm vice president, so... Please, let me take the responsibility today. It kind of sounds like you don't want me around for something, Eddie. It's not that. It's not that. I just... I didn't get much of a chance to discuss my book with Romeo. I don't want to just be embarrassing with you listening. I guess I don't really have a choice, do I? I'm sorry for causing trouble. I... I guess I don't have much choice, do I? I'm sorry I'm cause for causing trouble. But I'd really appreciate your understand. New day. So I'm guessing yay. So let's continue. I might be done after. Well. Let's end here. Let's end right here. Let's stop right here. So let's save. Yes, let's overwrite the save. Okay, we're gonna end it there. Who do you think I should go for between Atsuki, Yuri, or I should just go for myself again? I can either do any of the three. So Natsuki, Yuri, or me. Who do you th who do you think? Put in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, hit the bell icon. And see you in the next video.